The Cold War was so described because hostilities did not break out between the Warsaw Pact and NATO forces. At least that's the official story. In reality, the Cold War went hot several times, and open fighting occurred between communist and NATO forces. One such incident occurred on the Czechoslovak-German border in March 1953, with serious consequences. Czechoslovakia was a communist nation that directly bordered Bavaria in western Germany. The border region is dominated then as now by the ancient Bohemian forest and low mountains. In 1953, it was a tense area between east and west. The war in Korea was in full swing at the time, and tensions between the communist bloc and the west had never been higher. U.S. Air Force fighter jets constantly patrolled along the border, and it was easy for aircraft to cross into Czechoslovak territory, whether accidentally or on purpose. The Czechoslovak Air Force was rapidly expanding and was equipped with some excellent Soviet planes, including the MiG-15 fighter. Introduced in 1949, the outstanding MiG-15 was one of the first swept-wing jet fighters. In the Korean War, it outclassed U.S. straight-wing jets. It would even prove effective in Vietnam in the 1960s against supersonic American fighters. Today, it remains in service as a trainer with the North Korean Air Force. In order to deter intrusions into Czechoslovak airspace, a pair of MiG-15s would fly a combat air patrol along the border. U.S. planes would shadow the MiGs, copying their maneuvers. But on the 10th of March 1953, a pair of U.S. Air Force F-84 Thunder jets strayed over the border. They were a pair of F-84Es from the 53rd Fighter Bomber Squadron based at Bitburg Air Base in Germany. The Thunder jet dated from 1946. A straight-wing turbojet fighter bomber, it was the primary strike aircraft in the Korean War and remained in American service until 1957. At 10.59, they were spotted by the Czechoslovak Combat Air Patrol over the village of Merkelin, approximately 1,000 metres below and 5 kilometres in the distance. The MiGs approached closer, identifying the intruders as US F-84s. This information was reported to the ground commander. The MiGs prepared for combat, the F-84s noticing the Czechoslovak planes and breaking formation, one going left, the other right. The leading Czechoslovak pilot, Pilot Officer Shramek, pursued the leading US plane and obtained permission to attack and fire a warning shot, but Shramek judged that they were beyond a warning. The F-84 turned and Shramek turned in with it, opening fire. A cannon shell struck the F-84's fuel tank on the right wing, aviation fuel leaking from the ruptured equipment. The F-84 pilot headed for the Bavarian border, picking up speed in an attempt to outrun the MiG, but the MiG was swifter. Hammering along at 950 kilometers per hour at 2,000 meters, Sramek unleashed another burst from a distance of 200 to 300 meters astern of the American fighter. The cannon shells struck the F-84's fuselage, smoke pouring from behind the cockpit, followed by flames. The F-84 started to go down. Lieutenant Brown at the controls still trying to reach the border. Sramek pulled away to the left. At the same time, the other F-84 flashed over Shramek's wingman, who gave chase but lost the U.S. fighter in clouds. At 11.06, the drama was over. The two Czechoslovak pilots turned for home and landed 14 minutes later. According to the Americans, some of this fight had actually occurred over West Germany, as the planes wove and turned. No one can quite be sure, except of the outcome. The mortally wounded F-84 staggered into Bavarian airspace. The pilot, Lieutenant Brown, ejected safely, the F-84 crashing near Regensburg. So while their comrades were tangling with MiG-15s over war-torn Korea, American pilots in Europe had a similar experience over Czechoslovakia, probably the last place they expected to fight. The MiG-15 again demonstrating just how good an aircraft it was. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. And also support my channel via Patreon and PayPal. Details in the description box below.